Hi, in this packet tracer, we will investigate STP loop prevention. Firstly, we will describe the operation of spanning tree protocol running on the three switches. And then we will explain how spanning tree protocol prevents switching loops while allowing redundancy in switched networks. Now, we begin to part one. Observe a converged spanning tree instance. On step one, we will verify connectivity by pinging from PC1 to PC2. I get the IP address from PC2 and ping from PC1. You see, it's successful. And on the on step two, we will view spanning G status on each switch by using the command show spanning G VLAN one. Because we use spanning G running on the default VLAN, so we use the VLAN one. Show. VLAN 1 and we can see the results the interface gigabit 0 slash 1 is the status forwarding gigabit 0 slash 2 forwarding and fat ethernet 0 slash 1 forwarding so it means uh, we only interested in the gigabit uh, interfaces. The fat Ethernet is a access port, so we don't care about it. Only care about the gigabit Ethernet. Uh, it's a chunk port. So we have the three, uh, the two ports, the two chunk ports on this uh, on switch one. It's in the forwarding status. Next, we will examine C2 using the same command. The two chunk ports also in forwarding mode. And on switch three, you see here the gigabit is an at zero slot two is in blocking mode. Zero slot two is in blocking mode here in the orange uh, color. So why? Because spending tree running on the three switches, so it block one port to prevent loops. And now we can test by ping from PC1 to PC2. And we get the reply from PC2. So it's a redundancy feature of the spanning chi protocol is that it all for this activity thanks for watching